job that she's had was the only one, and that's okay because you can only do one job at a time. Yeah, that's really incredible to see her go from here to Philadelphia to the Today Show. She's amazing. She is awesome. I wouldn't want her schedule. It just seems very crazy. Yeah, and Early proud of Naomi morning. too for being the moderator. I know, that's so cool. Uh, very cool, and Naomi, sweet, sweet person. I love working with mm -hmm. her as well. As we take a look outside right now, the big picture, it is very warm outside across the state of Oklahoma. Tulsa at 75, much of the state really just in the lower to mid 70s, a gorgeous first day to March. This is the first day of meteorological spring. And if you've never heard that term before, you're thinking, what on earth is that? Well, we keep averages for our weather, right? So we say, you know, it's a warmer than normal spring or a below normal spring. Well, those averages begin today in the last until the last day of May. And then on June 1st, our meteorological summer begins. So really spring averages begin for uh, today for us, not on the 20th when we had the equinox. And now, as we look at the rain chances, we're gonna go up and it's gonna be a little more spring-like as we head towards this weekend with some thunderstorms in the area. Luckily right now, not expecting widespread severe weather just for the flat fact that the, the um, instability is not gonna be that great. A lot of clouds in the area. Could see some heavy rain though and across parts far eastern Oklahoma. And we look at our seven day rainfall totals and you can see the most of the rainfall is going to be in southeast Oklahoma. Uh, right now projecting about three tenths of an inch of rainfall in Tulsa as a cold front begins to slide through. And mainly this is mostly going to occur on Sunday with heavier amounts in the northwest Arkansas and far southeastern portions of the state. So we do have a chance for rainstorms this weekend. We'll detail that a little more finer for you here in just a few minutes. But looking at the nation as a whole, look at the big warm up mid 70s in the metro Phoenix at 83 Great Lakes, Chile 30s and 40s and New York City low cold at 41. But much of the US quite warm for this time of year. Now the temperature trend looks great for our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then clouds do thicken, rain chances go up that brings temperatures down and then a cool front swings through and it drops us back below normal. For next Monday and Tuesday, as you can see, normal high in the upper 50s. We're going to be below that by early next week. But right now, I don't see any signs of any wintry precip. So that's good news. 73 on our Saturday, 67 on Sunday. There will be a chance for a few hit of a storms on Saturday, keeping that at a low chance right now. The better chances would come early Sunday morning or Sunday evening across the area. And that should help keep temperatures a little cooler in the 60s for highs. Right now it's sunny and 76. We have a west southwest wind at 9. And southwest winds bring us really warm air. And it also brings us very dry air as well. Humidity is at 16%. That's really, really low for us. And that elevates the fire risk across the area. So it's something we're concerned with over the next couple of days until we get some moisture back in the area. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, Tulsa 41. Prior 39, McAllister 38. A little bit of a southerly breeze by afternoon. Those south winds picking back up still pretty dry, still pretty warm as well. Upper 70s to near 80 degrees. So nice warm afternoon on tap for the area. Same for our Thursday, same for our Friday and then a slight chance for storms Saturday. Better chances for rain storms on Sunday, especially in the morning and the afternoon and evening. And then that might linger into early Monday with temperatures in the 40s and cooler on Monday. And temperatures stay relatively cool before we see kind of a up and down pattern by the end of next week as another front arrives and cools us back down as we head into the next week.